Hello, skinny pig weekly news with hostel and Ukraine. <clears throat> There's big news for these two. They are out today having a last cuddle with grandma slash mummy because they are leaving for their new home. <laughs> it's happened so fast. I only got the call this morning. Now my darlings have got They've got a new home lined up. Someone's coming this evening. They have, sorry, Hostel, a bit of sample food, free of charge. Yes, come into that. I'm glad you two are going together. They'll learn their own way of telling you apart. I know who's who by now, but at times it has been a bit tricky, hasn't it, ladies? My beautiful girls are quite big, fluffy, tums. Oh, bless. They're eight weeks exactly today. My beautiful girls, and I'm really going to miss you. You'll spend a bit more time with your mum before before they arrive. Yeah. Beautiful honeys. Mm. As I said, every penny. I know, I've forgotten that you get these days wrong. <laughs> so. Um, just want, just questions that leave your mouth before your brain goes, huh? <laughs> My gorgeous fluffy darlings. That is sweet. So the way you look at me sometimes, still I'm like, are you? Yeah, you are. Oh, my beautiful darlings. Mummy loves you so much. She's going to miss you. Yeah. And as I said, every penny... Every penny is going to go to aiding Ukraine. Every penny. So humans going to have me, uh, I guess, and the money will live straight out of my bank account. Made my promise. And I hope it, uh, well, it's not that much, but I hope uh, every penny helps. Bless me, ladies, you're so skittish. You'll warm up. You'll warm up. Do, my ladies, fancy some coriander? Cilantro to people in some countries? Yeah. Come on, come on. I know you're scared. Come on. Come on. Shall I try hiding you? Do you want to give, get the impression you are hiding? Me? Yay. Yay. Hey, I may have worried some of you about a uh, little Martin being unwell, but uh, he's really picked up. Saw him in TW sitting there comfortably, and I think he's starting to put a tiny bit on. Looked like he was spreading out a bit more than he was Wednesday. I'm he's his piggy doctor appointment's been moved to Monday because apparently she didn't. Well, she didn't reach her workplace, or he. And unfortunately, uh, it's not enough of an emergency. The little lad is eating. He is moving. He is, has bright eyes. They're fully open now. And I'm starting to think it was because he uh, just wasn't getting enough peace uh, or food. Or food with uh, his old housemates. Yeah, so he's going to take up permanent residence with TW. He won't be sold after all. And uh, Andy's going to get this coriander if you ladies don't eat it. We're terrified. Come on, I'd have eaten you by now. You've gone off on you. They never believe you. They never believe you. Just the same as like, I haven't got any more lettuce. You're hiding it up your sleeve. I haven't got any sleeves. Doesn't matter. Ah, <laughs> uh, what every piggy parent goes through. Yeah. All oh, these eyes, I'm going to miss these eyes. Come on. Come on. Aww. It doesn't matter if I put the camera down in case you're wondering. They still would eat. And uh, <laughs> it's quite amusing. I had to keep talking last night when Martin was eating his uh, parsley. As soon as I stopped talking, he stopped eating and looked at me. <laughs> and of course, I had to get TW out. He gets jealous. He started getting jealous. When I show attention to Martin, I have to show attention to him too. Mm. Ladies, come on. 
Oh, look at your crane. <laughs> oh, I'm still hiding. Come on, come on, my darling. Oh, come on, it's safe. It's safe. Come on. Smell that lovely, lovely coriander. Come here. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. You're not escaping. Come on. Uh, wonder what your names will be. Hmm. Come on. Honestly, there's some that are just too terrified to eat. They're convinced it's a trap. Come on, sweeties. Ah, uh, when the new humans leave you alone for a bit, they're, they're coming all the way from Leeds. Hmm. I'm coming all the way from Leeds. It's quite a distance to where I am. Yeah, beautiful for us. They really want you. And they are several times that they're definitely girls, yeah? They're definitely girls. <laughs> I like it when people keep asking like that because you know things happen. They wouldn't want to suddenly wake up one morning and find they've got a few little extras. Mm, but you are definitely fine. And you had your ivermectin dose? Nearly this week, so you are nice and sorted. Yay. My beautiful girls. Eight weeks, already going to your new home. Just got to shift a shift. Please, thank you, and don't do that now. Yeah. I paid for bo a boost on, the, uh, on their advert, so they'll get shoved to the top every day, so then they get noticed. No, oh, my beautiful girls. Oh, so yeah, all the piggies that are being sold moving on to better things. Betty's, as it stands, is going to live with my sister, be a companion to her two girl piggies. Mm, she loves her tunnels and hideys, and Mary's big on tunnels and hideys for her piggies. Yep, <laughs> they're certainly very big on hiding. Oh, my piggies. Mama loves you so much. Yeah. I love you. I'm going to start a video and cuddle your clothes. Hopefully I'll start eating some of your coriander. Otherwise, I'll give other piggies are going to get it. Tut, tut, tut. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Boop. You green. Boop. Hostel. Yay. My beautiful dears. Wouldn't it be interesting if that caught on? Yeah. Boop for Ukraine. <laughs> I'd want to make it catch on with Ukrainian stirs, guinea pigs. Yeah. Boop. Boop, boop. I couldn't not give you two more. Mmm. Mummy loves you. Eat up.